Hello there guys and welcome to this week's uh, mini make over on Curly Crafts. This week we are going to be making a jigsaw puzzle photo frame using a real photo frame, foam board and a favourite photograph or gaming picture of your own. So, with that out of the way, here's what we're going for. Let's look at the materials, pick your favourite photo and let's get started. So for this project you're going to need a piece of foam board that's roughly twice the size of your picture frame. You're going to need an old picture frame that looks like this, one that gives you about half a centimetre to a centimetre of height here and a good solid board behind. You're also going to need a picture or a photograph that's going to become your new uh, jigsaw puzzle. And then for tools for this project you're going to need a healing cutting board, a Stanley or X-Acto knife, a metal ruler to cut nice straight lines, and lastly a normal tacky glue stick. So first step is going to be to remove the backing from your picture frame. And once you've done that, you want to remove any sheet of glass you've got and put that to side and won't be needing that again. Then once you've done that, keep the frame just to the side here and take your backing. Next, take your picture. And what you want to do is you want to make sure your picture is just smaller than the actual size of the frame here. I like to have a little bit of a white board around my pictures. You can have the photo that fits totally flush to the frame. It's entirely up to you. For me, I've left a one centimetre gap around the outside of my picture. So the next thing is going to be, using a pair of scissors or your knife and ruler, cut a one centimetre gap around the outside of your picture so it's nice and ready for the next step. Once you've cut your picture to size, you want to take your foam board and the wooden back of your picture frame. What you want to do is line up your picture frame with a 40 with a nice degree corner like this. Then using a pencil or pen, draw around the outside of your wooden base. There we go. And that's going to give us our backboard, which our jigsaw is going to be cut from from a bit. Once you've done that, just take your knife, your ruler, and your cutting board and cut that out. So board underneath. Line up your ruler nice and straight, and then using your knife, make sure it's just a little bit in of the black line, you'll find it easier. So a little gentle dig first to score the surface, then dig in nice and hard. If you feel it catching, just ease off, and then come back in it again. And then one last one for making sure it's gone all the way through, and then just repeat on your other edges. Once you've done that, put your other piece of foam board away. And you should be left with your nice backing piece, which your picture should fit nice and smoothly on top of just like that. Next up, you want to do a dry run to make sure it's going to fit inside your frame. So, take your frame, turn your board upside down, and it should fit nicely inside your frame. Just like that. So from the front, that's where our picture is going to be. Okay, so pop your frame to the edge. Take your picture, and the next step, you're going to want to put a nice amount of glue, not onto the paper, because it'll make it curl, but onto the foam board itself. So using your tacky glue stick, you want to layer a huge amount of glue on here. This is going to give us lots of freedom later with, a, with putting the picture on, deciding where your piece cuts are going to be. If you look at it from sideways on when you're doing this, you can see where the glue is, and you won't lose track of where your dry spots are and all the rest of it. So apply lots of generous amounts of glue all over. What you can do is leave one edge uh, dry and then apply the last bit of glue afterwards. So once you have that, line it up carefully. Oh, not quite. Line it up carefully and then just smooth your picture on top. A little bit to the side there, so I'm going to pull it this way a bit. There we go. And just gently smooth that down all over. And if you quickly double check, we've got any flappy edges. If you do, just apply some glue there. You want to make sure there's as much glue down there as possible so we can cut our jigsaw pieces wherever we want them to be. There's one of the nice things about doing this with children is that uh, they can actually choose where they want the lines to be. So there we go. Again, always double check. Take your frame. Once again, make sure all fits fine. If it still fits inside the frame, which we turn it over. There we go. That's what our completed version is going to look like. But next up, it's time to actually cut the pieces themselves. Okay, your next step is you're going to be cutting a little bit of an edge around the outside. Now this is important because you want part of your foam board to be held in place by the actual top of the frame. 
this part here, which is a, for me is about half a centimetre wide. However, you don't want the whole thing to be held under, because if you try to cut out your pieces, they wouldn't fit underneath the frame afterwards. So what we're going to do, and this is part of the reason for one centimetre edge, is using your ruler and your knife, you're going to cut a little bit of a border around the outsides. Now this way you can also choose to put some cornerstone keys in. Now what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to cut, rather than going all the way around the outside, I'm going to cut a corner in here. So I've got a little keystone which uh, whenever I do the jigsaw I'm going to be able to, I'll know uh, where my corner pieces actually fit in. So here we go, I'm going to line it, line it up my ruler and then steal it a little bit in from the edge. So remember, as always, surface score first, then go back in a little bit deeper and then your final cut is the one that's going to go all the way through onto the healing mat and if we flip it over you can see the cut's gone through very nicely there just there okay so repeat repeat with your across your corners down the other sides once you've done that we'll come back in once you've finished cutting the next step is just to gently push out your picture from the inside and you should be left with your Four corners there, which are going to be the points that we're going to be able to link our pieces to. And you've got your actual jigsaw here. So we're going to put our frame to the sides. We'll come to that later. And now it's time to cut the pieces themselves. So now you, have, now you get to have a little bit of fun. You decide on the shapes and the sizes you would like. So I'm going to start off with a nice long shape there. Again, shallow cut to begin with, a little bit deeper, and then nice and strong to finish off. There's my first piece. And then you should literally work your way around, changing the shape and the size. Uh, one thing you can do is you, you could do a very large piece. Take off Link's head there. And then once you've got your large piece, you can chop it into smaller pieces. So you might go for a slightly more angular piece here, just to make it a little bit more interesting. So shallow, deeper, all the way through. And that's pretty much it, guys. You want to gradually work your way through. There he goes. His bow does go back together there. And we'll pick up the video once I've cut all the pieces up. So, tools to the sides. And now what you should have is your original picture frame and all your Legend of Zelda photo pieces. Now, the nice thing about this project is uh, you can use a normal photograph. And in fact, the, the, the actual uh, paper, the print on top, holds up better if you do use a normal photograph. Uh, it can be as big as you want. It can be as small as you want. So the last step is to uh, put our piece to the sides. Get our original photo frame, now it's important parts. I want to flip it upside down, so put it into the frame. In it goes. And once we've done that, you can turn it over and you can see you've got a nice little border bit, so your piece aren't gonna get stuck underneath the frame. Last step is to uh, put the wooden frame back in the right way around. Quick double check that it is the right way around. Yep, it's the right way around. And the last thing we want to do is put the catches back underneath. Just like that, all the way around, to hold it in place. And now you can, in theory, have that propped up either on your uh, side or you can have it up on the wall. And here comes the fun part. So we've spent all this time actually doing the puzzle. Now we're going to try putting it back together. So I'm going to speed it up and then we'll pick up the video right at the end. So there you go guys, one completed uh, Zelda photo frame. The advantage is also um, that if you turn it upside down, the foam board pieces also wedge in together very, very nicely. So you retain the original shape, but the foam board makes sure that you can actually hang that on the wall and it won't fall out. So there you go. Thank you for watching this video. Hope you found it uh, useful. I hope it inspires you to go away and make your own uh, foam board photo frame and jigsaw puzzle, which your kids can really, really enjoy. And hopefully it will help them engage with some uh, special photos you have, which they can uh, just enjoy making themselves. Well, hope you enjoyed the video. And if you did, do like the video and subscribe to the channel. And um, don't forget, we've also got the Facebook page, KD Crafts, and the Twitter feed at KD Crafts. But I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not share it with your friends? And as always, if you did have a go at making it yourself, then do post a comment underneath and send me some photos. Thanks so much for watching, and I'll catch you in the next video.